Guys, welcome back after our short advert break. Let us now look at our second question. So in question number two, which is actually question one for our application, indicates the following. It says the University of Limpopo students are undertaking a trip from Polokwane to Middelburg for an in-service training. They have hired a bus from Maya's Luxury Bus Company. Professor Dutoy and Ms. or Dr. Nkomo are academic organizers for this in-service training. It says study the map that will be on the next slide to answer the questions that follow, right? So here we have our map, okay? So remember we, we referred to the two places we said it's Polokwane and they are traveling to Middelburg, just to point that out to you. Again, whenever you get something like this related to the question, right? Take, take some time out to find your, your bearings here. Okay, so the first question, it says, write one advantage of using national roads. Now, guys, if you look at this question, it's a level four type of question, right? Where we want you to reason and reflect, okay? Now, thinking about this, it says, write one advantage of using national roads. And remember, guys, this will be in your question papers, level four type of questions, okay? Give your opinion and think about before you answer. So when we look about national roads, your N1, N3, and so forth, what are the advantages of that, right? It should be one, but we can, you can think of more. So I would say, for example, um, in terms of South Africa today, we can say perhaps less potholes, right? We agree on that. Okay, what else we can say? It will be faster to travel on, right? Why? Because of um, no traffic lights. We agree on that? Think in terms of real life now. So no traffic lights, for example. Okay, so just to give you an idea, so these, this is the way I would like you to tackle level four questions. Think of the context and you think of it in terms of real life. So one advantage of using national roads, less puddles, it can be faster because um, no traffic lights, no traffic or less traffic for that matter, as regards to when you're in a city or in a town, eh? it's your stop, go, bumper to bumper traffic, that type of thing. But I want you to reflect on the question at hand. Right, our next question number two says, use the bar scale on the map. Now let's locate the bar scale. Can you see right here? is our bar scale, right? To calculate the actual distance, they traveled from Polokwane to Middelburg, right? As the crow flies. What does that mean again? And you'll come across this quite often. As the crow flies mean literally from the one point to the next point. You don't follow the route as indicated on the map. Are we clear on that? Okay, what else is important with this question? It says, write your answer in miles. Can you see? We are, this is why we call this an application question. We are applying a lot of other things into the question as well. Okay, so again, what is the important task we need to do? We must look at the actual distance from Polokwane to Middelburg. What was we doing in our question? We must use the bar scale to calculate the actual distance they have traveled from Polokwane to Middelburg as the crow flies. What else is important? We must write our answer in miles if one mile equals 1,61 kilometers. All right, so where do we start? All right, first thing is we have to measure our bar itself, right? Okay, so when I measure my bar here, and I'll write that down here so that we can all follow. So the bar length in my case is 2,6 centimeters. Step one. Step two, I must measure the distance between the two places as well. Now, the two places in question here is Polokwane as well as Middelburg. Okay, so I'm going to use my ruler and I'm going to measure on my map the distance between the two places. That will give me, right, so can I write this, um, the distance between Polokwane and Middelburg. Can I write it like that so that you know Polokwane and Middelburg, the map distance here I got. 10,6 centimeters. Guys, are we clear? So now I will go and I will calculate what is my actual distance, okay? So therefore, how do I go about? I will take, first of all, my 
distance between my two places, the measured distance, my 10,6. So map distance basically 10,6 centimeters. Now divide it by the length of my bar, which is now 2,6 centimeters. And I'll multiply that by my scale factor of 100 kilometers. Because remember now, I measured here from zero all the way to 100 kilometers. Please note, you can also measure between zero and 25 and equate it, or from zero to 50, or from zero to 75, it will all still take you to the same answer. Okay, as long as you work with the correct ratio. But now in my case, since I've measured 2,6 centimeter is to 100 kilometer, I will need to multiply by 100 kilometers. Guys, are we clear? So map distance between the two places divided by the bar length, okay, of the bar scale, multiplied by the scale factor here of 100. So therefore 10, 0.6 divided by 2.6 multiplied by 100. That should give us an answer of 407,6923077 kilometers. Right? I'm not going to round off because if you look, my answers should be written as miles. Are we clear on that? Now I'm going to move on to my final part of this question. I have to convert from kilometers to miles by using this part here that says if one mile equals 1,61 kilometers. Right, so therefore what needs to happen now, therefore I'll take the 407,6923007 and I'll divide that by Right, remember that's kilometers divided by 1,61 kilometers. My units are the same. So therefore, remember now, I don't even have to clear my screen on my calculator when I do this. You simply type in 10,6 divided by 2,6, multiply by 100. That's where we're at now, at 407,6923077. Take that and I divide it by 1.6 to go from kilometers to miles, so therefore if I work with this, I'll get an answer of 254. Okay, sorry, let me just type that in again. 407,6923077 divided by 1.61, right? So it's not 254, but 253, and I'm going to round off to two decimal places, or let me write the full answer. 253,2250358. And remember now, your answer this time is in miles. So 253,2250358 miles. Let me run through this one more time. Remember, two things first needed to happen. I had to measure the bar scale itself, so the bar, I got 2,6 centimeters, and I've measured from zero to 100. Thereafter, I've measured as the crow flies, now, meaning straight line distance from the one point to the next point, sorry, it should be a straight line, like that, as the crow flies, that's simply what as the crow fly mean. Then I got 10,6 centimeters. So in order for me to convert then from a map distance to actual distance travel, I took my 10,6, which is the distance between the two places, divided by the length of the bar, which equals 2,6 centimeters, and I multiplied by the scale factor of 100. I got an answer in kilometers of 407,6923077. Thereafter, I had to convert from kilometers to miles, and I used this conversion factor here, rate that's given. So I took the 407,6923077, I divided it by 1,61. I've ended up with an answer of 253,2250358 miles. All right, guys, let us quickly take a short break. After the break, we'll wrap up today's lesson. See you now. <laughs> 